we've reached the end of our Turkish adventure. So in this last episode, we'll be sampling a full English breakfast, sampling some craft beer, trying PD, so my first ever PD. finding some free donuts, and we'll be sitting down and giving an overview of our holiday. It's the end of another holiday. That's, that's it. Yeah! So this isn't something we'd normally do when we come on holiday, but we are going to try one of the full English breakfasts just to give you an idea of what they look like, what's on it and how much it costs. So we're down by the river at a restaurant called Cordon. Guy was talking with the other day when we got here, I was encouraging me to come in. So we'd seen it just from walking around that they did a big full English breakfast. So let's go inside and see what this is like. So as I recorded this little segment, I never realized that the sound equipment wasn't actually working for this particular part of the video. So just to review the breakfast, it was a massive breakfast here at Cordon. It came with mushrooms, fried eggs, tomato, sausage, beans and bacon. And it was an absolutely belly busting breakfast. So it was really good. It filled with up. It kept we going, we filmed this just before we went down to Iztuzu Beach in a previous episode. So this kept us going for pretty much the whole day. So we can highly recommend Cordon if you fancy a bit of a change, if you want to have an English breakfast when you're away here in Dalian. What did you make of your breakfast? Uh, it was it was good. Uh, it was Filling, huge. isn't it? It's very filling, yeah. I feel like I need a nap now. <laughs> you have one at the beach? Oh, yeah, I'll have to have one at the beach, yeah. No, no, it was really good. good I don't, yeah. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was 260. Yeah, um, so what's that about eight, seven, eight pounds? Yeah. It's not bad considering the size of it. Really. It's about the same price everywhere yeah. else, I think. So. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, it's good. How many chances have you had for your breakfast? A full. Okay, so that was two breakfasts, two soft drinks, a big bottle of water, and a coffee, and it's come to. 780 lira so that's what just uh, probably over 20 pound so it's not the cheapest but i mean the size of the breakfast was massive and we're getting some drinks in there as well but that'll probably do it for the day <laughs> we'll eat we'll probably eat tonight yeah. but that's probably done us for right the way through now stumbled across a little place that does Turkish craft beers so if you've seen any of our Gran Canaria videos you'll know that we do like craft beer and we found a nice little place in Gran Canaria called Wigwam Bar well this one is in Dalian of course and it's just down from Retro Bar so this is before you get into town from the north side of the town and it's called Ophilos so we've been inside and the guys talked through all the different beers he's got. Quite a little selection, it's all Turkish craft beers, so we're going to give these a try. See what these are like. So we'll get Jatties. It's actually opposite the Moonlight Hotel. The Moonlight Hotel, yes.
gonna give these a try and see what the. Uh, yes, yeah, so well, I've gone with this one. Bon Voyage. It smells fine. It's quite lagery. It's actually like, good. Nice. Yeah, good choice by me. It's Have quite, it's quite hobby. Well, actually, yeah, I think yeah. a lot of them are quite hobby ones. Well, it's craft beers are to be fair. Yeah, but it's uh, not too intense. So. Mm, that's actually really nice. Yeah. yeah. So you also get some free nuts with it, and the nuts are really nice. They're really salty. Obviously, they get you to drink more, but they like roasted nuts kind of thing, aren't they? Like, you about that salty jacket though, right? Mm, no, they're lovely. Like really nice. Jack, he literally takes it out and throws it up. Jesus no. Christ! <laughs> So Jackie's comes in at a cool, what was it, five? So mine was 5.5%. 5 I was thinking about four, wasn't it? It was like 5.5. But mine is 6.5, which I didn't realise. We've just booked a boat trip, so I hope I'm going to get up tomorrow. <laughs> so mine's a bit dark, obviously, because of probably the honey. And you can really smell the honey in that. You can really smell the honey, yeah. Mm. Mm. So let's, let's try this. Oh yeah, you can really taste the honey in it. It's quite quite sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's actually got a lovely aftertaste. Just let it kick in. Really taste Ooh, the honey yeah. at the end, can't you? Like explodes yeah. at the end, doesn't it? I didn't think I would mm. like that. Well, actually, I do. It's I'll quite nice. I could drink that, yeah. So it's a honey pepper ale. So we might be stumbling out of here because we've already had a few FS today. It's we've been really hot today. So we've had, food yeah, we've had nothing to eat today snacks. other than snacks. So uh, we're going to finish these off and then we're going to head back. But we'll see see how we get on with these and see how the day pans out. <laughs> so we'll just come out with some more nuts and some water. Because uh, you must have seen Jackie <laughs> throwing peanuts all over the place. Having a coffin And then face. she's just choked on a peanut. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. It's a nice little touch. I'm not sure if it's free yet, but we'll find out. If you just fancy a quick snack through the day then a PD is the perfect thing to have. It's just like a little, it's a Turkish pizza basically. We are in Cherry Fast Food which is just on the corner near the mosque. Jackie's going to try it for the very first time. So let's see what she thinks of the PD. Pizza, yeah. is it? I very sure about the thing when we were with him, Mum. I know, it's good. Mm. I'll try it. Mm. <laughs> it's all for your all, yeah. Yeah, it's quite nice as well, yeah. It is like a quality. Yeah. Yeah. Tasty. Like Jackie's already tried, I've gone for the meat sea day, which I've had before many years ago. And I remember really enjoying these, so 
let's see what this one is like. Got a fast food truck. Yeah. Just as good as I remember. Meat tastes like bolognese, fruit cheese on it. Really good. So we're getting a little free dessert. I think, I think it's baklava. Not like pistachios, like crushed pistachios or something. Yeah. It's probably like chewy. It's alright. It's like sweet, but not like overly. Overly sweet. I wasn't even expecting it to be sweet. I wasn't quite sure what I was expecting. <laughs> it's actually alright. I'm gonna describe what it tastes like. It's like a weird. I thought it was for your words. Like a PJ first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite good. It's like onions in the middle. I know, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a very kind of light, kind of pastry on the outside and then like crispier on the top, isn't it? Like, yeah, I don't know what. I don't, I, yeah. It's really tasty, isn't it? I didn't expect it. No, I didn't expect I like it. Yes, I know. I think these are like pistachios on top, like from... No. But no, it's lovely. Mm. Yeah. We'll have to ask what's in it. Yeah. Good? Yeah, really good. Really gone. So overall, P Day, how many Jackies out of five are gonna give the P Day? Oh overall P Day. It was really good. Simple but um tasty. Good for uh, a snack though, isn't it? Big fun. Yeah. yeah. Probably could have just shared it well. Probably, yeah. I mean I had one and a half P days. Who would not want to share but um, yeah. And then this is them, right? I haven't yeah. had this before, so yeah, that's yeah. a new one for me. Two new things. Oh, spit at me. <laughs> so while we're sat getting my pee day, Seen loads of people come about like these little kind of deep fried donut things. So it says, Oh, we'll go and see if we can find them. So there's a little truck pulled up here in the square next to the mosque, and it looks like they're just kind of hand them out because we were like nearly walked away because we haven't got any cash on with. And obviously, somewhere like that doesn't look like it's going to take a card. But I was watching, and then she was just giving them the people in the world just walking. So I says, Oh, let's see if we can get some. So we've come, we're getting five of these little donut y things. We've got this great little machine that just like pops them out in a little. Um, little circles and it just drops it into the fat but it looks like it's got some kind of coating on so yeah. we'll see what these are like I'm not sure what it is to put on them. It's like it's like a very light, a very light donut. <laughs> it's weird. It's nice. I like it. It's like all like. Yeah, it's like quite shiny, isn't it? <laughs> we certainly didn't expect to be getting any freebies today. Mm. Ooh. Oh, really <laughs> crispy. Yeah. Between them, like chewy in the middle. Yeah, it's really like sweet. You can see it's got like a glistening on it, which is like the coat, and it is really sugary, uh, which I didn't expect. Mm, really, really good. Quite a nice little treat, aren't they? I feel like giving them some money now. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, really good. So if anybody knows what this is, let me know in the comments. Okay, that's the end of another 
holiday, and this obviously this time we've been in Dalian in Turkey. What we usually like to do, if you are new to the channel, at the end of each series of videos, we like to, well, I like to, Jackie doesn't <laughs> sit and do like a little overview of the holiday as a whole. Uh, I would probably say we found this one one of the hardest ones to do. Actually, we've just had a few issues with. Well, my drone for a start, uh, yeah, when we lost it, luckily lost. I found it. And now then it didn't the, want to work. No, the gimbal's stuck on it and I cannot get it to, to work. Like everything we've tried with it, it just keeps saying gimbal stuck. We've tried to calibrate it, it's, it's just not having it. So I don't know what's wrong with it. So I know some people do like the drone shots. So apologies for that, but I can't help it. It's just one of them things. And then of course the, the incident we had up in the mountains uh, a few days ago, which kind of, pretty much shook me quite a lot and pretty much ruined the night so it's just I don't know it's been one of them times where things don't always go as you imagine they're gonna go <clears throat> but we've, we've done as much as we can our um, days have just like, absolutely exactly. flown by yeah. like it's the first holiday I've been on in a long time and I'm it's like it feels like it's just like got here. Here. just got here yeah oh yeah it's crackers, yeah, it really has. And like, we have done stuff every every day. Pretty well, much. Right? I mean, we've had a couple of days around right. the pool, haven't we? We like, have, we did, yeah. We um, have had some days to, to ourselves to, to relax. Because you can't just keep doing stuff every day. And, you know, we're away on holiday, you, you do need that time to kind of wind down a bit. So what we'll do is we'll start talking about the apartment we've stayed in. And we'll just let you know what overall thoughts, what the Villa Dolina is like. Personally, I think it's been it's been spot on. Yeah, look, it's you know, really nice, yeah. It's plenty of space. Uh, it's basic, but it's got everything you need. The living room, it's got the bedroom, bathroom's quite small, and it's got like a little kitchen area, which we've never even used, have we? No, we normally do as well, my self kitchen we know, have yeah. it. It's, it's, it's fine, it's clean, it's tidy. It, it, it looks really nice. It's obviously family, family run business. Yeah. Um, and the people who own it are lovely. The two lads that are in the um, the cafe and the bar and that pretty much all day, every yeah, day. Um, really good. Mm -hmm. and yeah, no, everybody's been um, spot yeah. on. Bed's been comfortable. Bed's comfortable. The, 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 like I say, the, the place is basic, but it's what you expect. It's just dozen, yeah. The cleaners have been it's in clean, like It's clean, entirely. Cleaners come in every day. every day, but they don't change your bed Sheets, in every yeah. day. Um, change your towels. I think they do give you towels. I'm not I'm really yeah, sure. Yeah, towels. Why. It's towels every day. I accumulating think. towels. I think they change your towels every day. If I'm wrong about that. I think the only day the maybe's haven't been in was a Sunday. But then yeah. I remember thinking, oh, they haven't been in. But then I had changed the towels. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was only maybe once they haven't changed the towels. But I mean, over yeah. ten nights. But they're in every day emptying the bin, the, the toilet rolls, well, like, the, the yeah, toilet yeah. roll. I've, I've never known anywhere South Cape. <laughs> so we, we, always, we always bring some always bring somewhere somewhere, yeah. just in case, but just we've still case. got it and we can take it home. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think it's been spot on. The yeah, apartments. I would definitely. Pool's lovely. Pool's lovely, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. it's, um, it's all one depth. I didn't know mm -hmm. what I was going to say. Yeah. It's all one depth, so it's good. It's good. great for kids and stuff. There's like a little pooly bit area mm -hmm. there as well where the, the kids can go. Yeah. Um, it's clean. The whole pool area is really clean. Really nice. Actually, to be mm -hmm. fair, spotless. Spot on. I would, I would definitely, I would, I would not back. hesitate to come back mm -hmm. again. Yeah. The f even the food here was pretty good. We don't oh, usually yes, eat at our yeah. apartments. We've only had, we had some egg bread uh, the day we got the bread, quad bike, good. and we had just a snack one afternoon. Which is, I mean, it was just like a cheese toast and chips, but I had a there was plenty, wasn't there? Yeah, you had a cheese sandwich. Oh, it was beautiful. It was yeah. really good. So absolutely no complaints about the apartments at all. It sits about a 10, maybe 15 minute walk down to like the main street in Dalian and you can get to the river within a couple of minutes. But again, it all depends on your walking ability. Yeah, uh, if you're quick walking, it'll take about eight minutes yeah, to get to the river bit. Um, but obviously get to the other end of the strip, it's about 15 minute, 20 minute walk. Yeah. But it's a nice walk. And obviously it's a gravelly path. So if you, you have to watch your foot and you know, it's a bit dark in some areas. But no, even that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little, like I say, a nice little, a nice little walk. Yeah. So how many jetties out of five for the Villa Dolinate? Uh, I'll give four and a half. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, I'll probably give yeah. it that as well. Like I've, I would have no hesitation coming here again. It's, it's been mm -hmm. great, really good. I love the area that we stayed in as well. It's just yeah, it's really quiet. Peaceful. So like, yeah, close enough to everything, but far enough away for it to be really nice and peaceful. Like at night time, even through the day, you can't hear anything. It's another thing to mention, like the music around the pool is not blaring. 
No. It's just it's lo a nice low level. Just there in the background. Yeah. You can hear it, but obviously it's not, it's not blasting. Yeah. Yeah. So what we'll do now is we'll talk about Dalian as a resort. We'll give you our thoughts on it, what there is to do, and just some of the like places we've been within the resort. So what are your thoughts on Dalian? It's lovely. It's kind of what I was expecting to be from pictures and what I'd seen. Uh, it, yeah, it's it's quiet, it's dead relaxed and chilled. You've got that bustle if you do want it. Um, a bit further stuff, down. A bit further mm. down. Loads of restaurants, loads of bars. People are really friendly and um, you don't get any hassle. Plenty of little souvenir shops. Yeah. So there's pretty much everything you, everything you need is, is mm. there. Uh, and it's it's really like picturesque as it well. Is. It's beautiful. And at Dum the River, it's it's That's gorgeous. Lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. There's just too many nice places. Yeah, to I know. Because yeah. we haven't even got it. I know. Well, we I don't know. have enough days to go to, go to or everywhere, but mm -hmm. we kind of got to the ones we wanted to go yeah. to. So that was it. I mean, the chat you mentioned there about it being kind of bustly a little bit down the bottom. It is a bit more down there, but it's still not like overbearing, is it? It's like no, no, no. It's a bit louder down there. So there are like some young people here I didn't expect to see quite as many like younger people but don't let that put you off because people aren't going stupid here they're not going crazy everybody's just seems so friendly and relaxed like even like the holiday makers we've met and spoke to sorry mosquito probably bites. <laughs> like everyone's been lovely because people do hear stories about turkey and it puts people off because you hear about the hassle and whatever and I've experienced that myself in the past in Marmaris but here is totally different and for me I personally would not have a problem coming back here I'd never heard of this resort until last year and it was my friend Kristen who came and he said oh you'd probably love it there which is one of the reasons we booked it he came last year and he, he loved it so we've got a few kind of like hints and tips off him and it has been it's been it's probably exceeded my expectation to be fair and although it's not quite a beach resort you can't easily get to the beach from here it's only you can get the dolmus which we showed you on one of our episodes and it only takes about 15 minutes it doesn't cost much or you can get the river boat which is a little bit more expensive but again i mean that probably takes a little bit longer because it's it kind of snakes yeah, through the delta it was about probably over half an hour it was over it? half an hour it was 35 minutes yeah. but it's, yeah. it's a nice way to do it like mm. you get to see the tombs and everything by the river um so yeah uh, I think Dalian's been absolutely brilliant, it's just a lovely resort and just to put it in stark contrast, going all out to Nice was a totally different place to here um, and in a way I couldn't kind of wait to get back here. I think just the events of that particular day as well really put a, a dampener on things and yeah, that was, I just um, wasn't myself busier, after. And it, was a bit... it wasn't, you didn't really get hassle I didn't think there. Mm, no, but it was a little. But bit there was more. a little bit of hassle there. Mm -hmm. was, uh, when you didn't want to go in that bar, there was one. Yeah, there was, was a follow you. <laughs> I, I think that the most hassle we had was um, the Sacrament Gorge. <laughs> the two hour guide there. Uh, I think he was like. I don't think he was a two hour guide. Not even sure if he was a proper two hour guide. No, he's probably just a local who's gone. He's probably made his own placard and stands there and just like waits for people. Anyway, we're digressing away from Dalian. Jack is right, the restaurants have been lovely and thanks to everybody on the Facebook forums when I've asked for mm. recommendations. Yeah, they've all been um, spot on. We noted a few things down before we came away. Obviously, we haven't had a chance to do half the stuff we want to do because of just time. Time's you know. just run away with. Yeah. With um, and then obviously some days you plan when you go out. I think we had the quad bike, we we'll probably we'd got everything done we wanted to do that day, I think, but would have been nice to have spent a little bit more time in some of the places, but it's just one of them things. So overall, Dalian, what would you give that out of five, Jeff? I'll give it a five. Yeah. Five out of five. I've had a, I've had a really nice Just such a nice place. Yeah, definitely, definitely come back. Yeah, okay, so the last part of our overview will be about the things we've done. What would you say are the top kind of three things we've done? I'm sure surprises for things. <laughs> well, you've been there. Yeah, hello. I like the boat trip. That was, that was, really, that really was good. good. That would be in my That was a good three. day. Um, again, that day just flew over mm -hmm. as well. It was like, we were kind of on it, and then the next minute we were like, done. heading back yeah. and done. Yeah. So that was really good. I liked the gorge place. Mm -hmm. that, that was, was really good. Although we didn't really get 
it would have been nice to spend, like you say, like at the full day there, I would have thought, because I like there was like rafting you could do. Um, I think it was zip lining. The mm-hmm. rafting. Um, yeah, that was horse just like riding. Was, I think it was horse riding you could do. Yeah, on the other bit, one on the waterfall. Yeah, so that that was that was a good. I think I know what your day. number one's going to be. And the paragliding, I absolutely love the paragliding. So the paragliding was your favourite. Yeah. That was yeah, it was. It was good. It's something I've wanted to do for a long, long time since the last time. Well, first time I came to Turkey, and it was like, look, we're going to have to do it. Jack, you wanted to do it as well, and it was like, we, just, we need to do it. Absolutely and amazing. we spent quite a bit of money on this holiday. <laughs> Yeah, but I think probably because the paragliding was it's probably took about 300 quid Paragliding was, I think it was 140 pound each. Although we did get the, so I think it's 20 pound to get the, um, like the pictures that they take. Um, t- to be fair, that worth it. It's worth 20 pound yeah, because they take videos and um, do the pictures. So it's fine. I would have would have bought. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That was really yeah. That that was my number one. I think um, for me, yeah, I would probably agree with the boat trip. I think that was that was excellent. I think probably the day we got the quad bike for me was one of the highlights. Doing the mud bass, it was just like the a little mud. adventure across the river. Like <laughs> I've got the yeah, mud bass. Yeah, that was good as well. Yeah. It, we went in the the back way, which we didn't even know you could get in, and I was just saying to Jackie when we got there, it was like hostel. <laughs> it was just this, this gate in the abandoned place, and it was just. It was weird the way it all was and the guy turned up on his wellies <laughs> and he just opened the gate for when you went through. So we came in the back way, which is where kind of like you go through the showers were uh, and then like the thermal bath and the actual mud bath. So we kind of like didn't get that surprise of like getting off the boat and coming through. And coming through, yeah. We had the whole place but to ourselves. But we had the whole place to ourselves. There was only one, two of the people was, came yeah, from my, my friend. That was kind of near the Just end of our... Just finished, yeah. So we had the whole mud bath to ourselves and then we were in the thermal pool with the owner. Um, yeah, he was... Um, and he was a character, wasn't he's he? He was a little character, <laughs> yeah. So that, I just, I loved that day, like, just getting about and going up Radar Hill, which was lovely, like, seeing the views. Yeah, the views up there were really S- Like, good. getting to the, like, um, Kaunos, the ancient city. I mean, it was red hot that day as well. It's a shame that we couldn't get... It's, um, you, you must have been able to, at one up point, to get up. Yeah. I don't know whether it was just closed that but day, maybe? Possibly. I don't know, because it was a... What day did we go? Was it a Sunday? It was our anniversary. Uh, oh, Friday. Friday then. Oh, maybe not. So I don't know if it's normally closed or what, but yeah, so you could only kind of see it from a... From a you probably get a better view of it from the restaurants, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. But, I mean, like, even, like, Shandier and that little place was stocked for a bitey. Just, I loved that day. I, th- I thought it was really good. It was just, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like was a little good. adventure. And then, yeah, paragliding again was just class. And even again, just that whole day, I think, after the day before in the mountains, when that crash happened, I think that kind of day was needed because <laughs> the paragliding started the day off. Then we went to the Sackler Kent um, National yeah. Park and that was like, that was beautiful. It was really nice. So yeah, that's that's it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this particular series. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, which is free to do. Don't forget to like all our videos. Don't forget to leave your comments. We look forward to reading what you think of our experience of Dalian and your experiences as well. And hopefully we'll see you very soon in the new year for a new series. So, see you later. See you. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye.